We've heard from just the common citizens and all the patients of medical marijuana. But now how about, okay, I don't want to hear any booze out there. We got a politician coming up here, but this is a good politician. He is a libertarian and he is fighting for the right of medical, or of medical marijuana. I just met him today, so I gotta find his name here. <laughs> Luke McKellar of the Libertarian Party. I guarantee after today, I will know his name. You all should learn it too. Here's Luke McKellar, ladies and gentlemen. All right, thank you very much. I am the uh, chair of the Central Committee of the Libertarian Party. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Tanya for putting on this great event and for everyone uh, who's here. This is amazing. I never thought we could do something like this here at Dayton, so uh, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, I want to tell you a story before I begin my speech. I was re researching a few things uh, for today while I was working out of town last week. So I walked up to my hotel room, room 420, and picked up the USA Today that was in front of my door. Uh, I just set it on the counter like I usually do. But I came back later, and there was an article that caught my attention. Uh, it happened to be about how state and federal marijuana laws conflict. Let me tell you why we need medical marijuana to be legalized here in Ohio. We need it because it is compassionate. We need it because it helps people. We need it because it is far past the time to allow people to relieve their pain, even if it doesn't help the pharmaceutical companies earn profits so they can pay their lobbyists in DC. Back to the article I was reading while uh, smoking something in room 420. You know, the place uh, at my favorite hotel. Uh, re regardless of the federal government's laws and regulations, which I and the Libertarian Party of Ohio do not believe are constitutional to begin with, we must stand together in Ohio to allow compassionate use of medical cannabis. To do anything else would be barbarian, with no offense to barbarians. The feds say, we really aren't a part of this debate because we're charged with enforcing federal law. Well, I have this to say to spokeswoman Kelly, who works for the Border Patrol and was quoted in that article I read. Ohio thinks for itself and we have compassion. Tell President Obama to keep his word and stop prosecuting medical marijuana users. Now to the core of my speech. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the Libertarian Party. Uh, we aren't like Republicans. We aren't like Democrats. We believe in a core set of principles. I have three of those principles to talk to you about today. First, from the Libertarian Party platform, we believe in the right to life. We should be able to protect our lives and to live a happy and pleasant life. What this means to us here today is that we should be able to do what we need to do, what we need to do to prolong our lives. Medical cannabis is the answer to a life of pain, the answer to a life of addiction and bad side effects of the drugs that the pharmaceutical companies are trying to sell us on TV. There is nothing more precious than the right to life. It is a right given to us, not by the Constitution, but by our Creator. Uh, whether you think He is God or something else, it is a right extended to us humans, not U.S. citizens, but humans. The Libertarian Party platform goes on to say, this right to life is the prohibition of the initiation of physical force against others. By denying our right to medical drugs that can reduce suffering and pain, the government is denying this God-given right. Secondly, the Libertarian Party platform states that we believe in the right of liberty of speech and action. This is why we are assembled here today. The government cannot shut this movement down. I am here today to encourage you, to move you to action. It is time to stand up to the government who would rather we die a painful death rather than be able to consume a natural drug.
just by showing up today, we are making a difference. You are making a difference. And let me tell you a story, another story. This one shows that change is possible. Does anyone know who Bob Barr was, is? Yeah, that's right, he was in the movie Borat. But he was also a Republican congressman who vehemently opposed legalizing drugs. He even passed an amendment to bar the District of Columbia from enacting a medical marijuana legalization. Well, we don't have to lose faith. Even politicians can change. Keep sending letters, keep emailing them, keep calling them. Bob Barr was defeated due to the Libertarian Party of Georgia's TV ads. But let me tell you something, he was our candidate for president in 2008 and he changed his stance on medical marijuana. Uh, go ahead to my third point, and this one's a little bit quicker. The Libertarian Party is opposed to the government taking our property. Too many victims of prohibition, the war on drugs, have had their property stolen simply because they are found with some marijuana. I'm sure it has happened to medical marijuana patients, and, the, and as, as a human being, that is disturbing. What I want is a country of compassionate people who care so much that they allow us to use this medication necessary to sustain our life. Uh, some people believe that the war on drugs has failed the Libertarian Party believes that it has. We don't think everyone should use drugs, but we do stand behind this effort. This is a step towards compassion and responsibility. The time has passed for Ohio to legalize the elimination of suffering. Ohio House Bill 478 can do that. Thank you very much. The hip-hop will be coming later on.